one of the best things about Windows 11 and Windows in general is the ability of customization that you have and the fact that you can use so many displays and so many other display options. But what do you do when your screen is blurry? My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're going to fix just that. So the first thing to do if your uh, screen has blurry text on it is you head over to Windows settings by pressing Windows key plus I. And here head over to system and then the first setting that you will say is display. Click to open it, uh, scroll all the way down and under scale and layout you will see two options, one for scale and one for display resolution. Make sure that both of these settings are set to what Windows recommends as that is the best way of ensuring that you are using the right scaling and resolution settings without which your monitor will show blurry pictures. So this is the first fix that you need to apply. Now another way of fixing this issue is to change the performance options on your system. Press the Windows key and search for performance and you will see this option right here which says adjust the appearance and performance on Windows. Go ahead and click that and this uh, performance options dialog box will pop up. We're going to go ahead to the advanced tab here or the visual effects tab works fine as well. They change this. And then you have four options here. You can let Windows choose what's best for your computer. You can adjust it for the best appearance, adjust it for the best performance, or you can just uh, have a custom setting. You can check and uncheck whatever you want here. The easiest way to do this is to just click on adjust for best performance and then go ahead and click the apply button below. Once this is done, your PC should look drastically better in case it wasn't already and the blurry text should be fixed. The third solution is to run the clear type text tuner. Now this is a baked in utility into Windows that can help you adjust how good or sharp text looks on well your Windows PC. So what you have to do is press the start menu and search for clear type. The first option that appears is the one that we're looking for. So adjust clear type text. Go ahead and click that. Check this uh, checkbox that says turn on clear type and then click on next. Now it will ask you to select what monitor you want to use. I have two monitors so I can tune for all monitors right now or I can tune for just the one that I select. So I'll go ahead with my MSI monitor, click on next. Windows will check if your monitor is set to the native resolution. As I said, the native resolution and scale is very important for text clarity. We'll go ahead and click next. And now Windows will ask you to choose between five different sets of samples and ask you what works best. So select the sample that you think looks better. Click on next. Um, this one's a little tricky, but I like this one better. Click on next. This one works better. This one works better here and then yeah this one works and that's it that's how you can tune text uh, view on your monitor go ahead and click finish to save the changes and your text should start looking sharp if you had a blurry screen or a blurry text on it. Next up uh, you can update your display drivers so if you are running a dedicated GPU or if you have a laptop with an HDMI port that plugs directly into the GPU, you are going to have to update your GPU software um, or your graphics card software, whatever your displays are connected to. So on PCs, this will mostly be a dedicated uh, GPU. So um, Nvidia, AMD and Intel all have their own utilities. I have an Nvidia GPU, so I will head over to GeForce Experience in the start menu. Wait for it to load up, head over to the drivers tab and uh, you can check whether you have the latest GeForce driver here or not. I just updated this morning so I know I have the latest one but if you want to check you can just go ahead and click on this check for updates button and this small box will appear that will tell you whether you have the latest driver or not. Alternatively you can use the device manager to check for driver updates. You can do this by right clicking the start menu and then clicking on the device manager option. The device manager will open up in a minute and uh, expand display adapters and you'll see both of your GPUs if you're on a laptop or if you have an integrated GPU in your system. 
what you have to do is right click whatever GPU you're using and then click on update driver. You can ask Windows to automatically for drivers and Windows will tell you that it has the best drivers installed and if it doesn't it will go ahead and download it for you. One thing to note is that if you have an NVIDIA or an AMD GPU, it's best if you go through NVIDIA and AMD's utilities for driver updates instead of the device manager. And of course, if you have an Intel Arc or HD 660 or whatever um, version of integrated GPU that you have on your display, you can choose uh, the device manager. But once again, uh, Intel and AMD both have their own utilities for this so it's always better if you get the driver updates straight from the source instead of having to look around in windows updates speaking of windows updates the final solution is to check for a windows update for a system-wide update because issues like this can be fixed a lot of the times um, by developers and then they push updates out for people to use very similar to how gpu and practically how updates work so press windows key plus i to open the windows settings go ahead and click on windows update in the bottom left and uh, then you can use this check for updates button to check you can see i checked 10 minutes ago so i'm pretty much on the best version available uh, this is a update preview you don't necessarily need to install it this is not required but as long as you have all the required updates you should be good to go if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you would like to know more about tech, visit our website candy.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on social media and we'll see you in the next video.